Right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing and giving my first impressions on the Hater Hawk 36. I've had quite a few comments about this lawnmower over the past few weeks, so I decided to pick one up myself just to see if it's as good as it's being advertised. This is a battery powered mower, so you don't need to worry about having to get any petrol and things, or having to worry about any cords, and it comes with quite a wide selection of batteries too. I opted for the smaller battery myself because the lawns that I have are relatively small, and advertises that the small battery can cut you know, over 100 square meters without needing a second charge. So getting the bigger battery would have meant less charge time, but with the lawn sizes that I have, that shouldn't be too much of a problem, but only time will tell. I do have a Bosch cordless lawnmower at the moment, and that one has served me perfectly for the past 12 months. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. It's something that I would highly recommend to anyone who's looking at getting their first cordless lawnmower. However, the hater just seems to be that little bit of a next step in terms of upping your lawn care. One thing that struck me straight away is just the actual quality of the lawnmower itself. The plastics, the metals, everything feels quite premium. And I was surprised, to be honest, with this being their budget lawnmower, but you can tell that it is a premium product. So you can see I opted for the smaller battery, but I'm not gonna speak too much on the battery life until I post my proper review in the next few weeks. And I think one of the main reasons anyone's picking up a hater lawnmower is to do with the rear roller on the back. They are renowned for the rear rollers and getting really crisp, perfect stripes on a lawn. So after having the Bosch lawnmower with the rear roller, I decided to go for this hater in the hopes that they become just that little bit more crispy, which you'll see later in the video, they actually do. The blade in this lawnmower is 36 centimeters from one end to the other and that's pretty obvious with it being in the name so it's only a small blade but the lawns that i've got are only small if you've got a much bigger lawn than me let's say 100 200 square meters you might want to up for a blade that's a little bit bigger to get you some wider lawn stripes but it's entirely up to you Another thing that I was quite surprised with as well is how much weight there actually was in the mower itself. It's much heavier than I thought it was gonna be. However, what I do think is that's a big sort of perk of this lawnmower because it does enable you to get those crispier stripes just because there's more weight pressing down on the rear roller as it passes across each of the grass blades. <laughs> Now the shots you're seeing on screen now are from my last video where I actually fertilised this lawn maybe about five days before the cut that I'm doing on screen now, about five or six days, and you can just see how well the grass is striping up. You can see that the lawn's really thickened up after having the fertiliser, and the hater just really makes those stripes absolutely pop, especially when the sun's out. Now the stripes that you are expecting to get on your own lawn will entirely depend on the actual quality of the lawn. So you can tell with this lawn that I'm cutting now, it's in a really good shape at the moment, so it's striping up really well. The same thing with the front lawn too. They're looking, you know, really nice. They're really thick, so the stripes look super crispy, super tidy. 
However, on the next lawn, the lawn that I'm cutting on screen now, this is the lawn on the bottom tier of my back lawn and it's fairly new. It's sort of getting to the stage now where it's beginning to thicken up. It's had fertilizer on it maybe for about two or three days. So it's only grown a little bit. It's not really had that massive boost of growth yet from the fertilizer. So it is striping up nice, but they're not as crispy as they're gonna be in a few weeks time. I'm hoping when I finally do post my full review that this lawn is in full swing and I can get some really good shots of the hater cutting lots of different lawns. You do have to buy a 60 volt battery for this, which does come bundled in if you buy it as a bit of a set, but you can get it separately too. And it has a max boost button on the actual mower as well. Now I imagine you're only really gonna be using that when you're cutting long grass or if you're actually scalping a lawn. I can't imagine I'm gonna be using it much because I'm only gonna be taking the tips off the lawn. <laughs> It's really easy just to change the height of the mower too. You press the button, you hold onto the handle and you can set it to the different measurements that you want. Now in the user manual, it doesn't actually tell you the height of each of the settings. The lowest setting is 19 mil, the highest setting is 70 mil, but it doesn't tell you what the actual increments are in between. I imagine you just gotta do a little bit of division to figure those out and I'll sort that for when I do the full review. It comes with a little red key too, which goes next to the battery, just as a bit of a safety mechanism so that you don't end up you know, cutting your foot off or your hand off when you're storing it away. However, it does only come with one, so if you lose it, you are done for. And the last thing that I think is pretty cool as well is how easy it is to store this lawnmower away. Just tilt the handle upwards, you can stand it upright, and you can put the grass box on top. So, pretty tidy putting it away in a garage or in a shed. See how big the rear roller is on the back. It's only made of plastic, but it is pretty tough and it's thicker in the center than it is on the edges, just to make it more easily maneuverable when you turn on the lawn. Some do come with a split rear roller, however, this one doesn't. But for the size, you don't really need one that's split. So my initial opinion then of this lawnmower, I am really, really happy that I picked this up. I didn't know how big the difference would be between my current Bosch lawnmower and this new Hater lawnmower, but it's safe to say just from using it now for the past three or four days, the difference is quite big. The quality difference in terms of the materials, the weight of the product, the cut on the grass, the quality of the stripes, it's all looking really positive. Now, what I'm gonna do next is, in the next week or two, I'm gonna be posting a full, comprehensive review on this hater about all the things that I like, all the things that I don't like, and you can then decide whether you think this is the right lawnmower for you. So, if you've enjoyed today's video, give it a like, and if you'd like to check out any of my other content, such as my lawn tip videos, or any of my garden renovation, you can head over to my channel, and if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. And finally, Thanks for watching.